Gautam Buddha and Buddhism. Gautam Buddha was born in 563 BC in the Republican clan of Shakyas in Lumbini near Kapilvastu. His mother was a princess from the Koshala dynasty. So as you can see, he was born in Lumbini near Kapilvastu and what is his mother's dynasty that was Koshala dynasty four sides of Buddha's life at the age of 29 had moved him to the path of renunciation they are an old man a diseased person an ascetic and a dead person now let's know what are the important events in the life of Buddha so here as you can see three columns are there first one events second one places and third one symbols so first one janma that was in lumbini okay we have already known about it and what is the symbol of this one lotus and bull second one maha binish karmana um, no places is there mention is here and what are the symbol what is the symbol that is horse third one nirvana where he got nirvana that is bodhgaya and what is the symbol bodhi tree fourth one dharma chakra parivartan the place was sarnath and symbol was wheel and the last one mahapari nirvana the place was kushinagar and the symbol was stupa so these symbols and places are really very important we have to learn it properly now let's know doctrines of buddhism so as you can see four noble truths are really very important in the philosophy of buddha first one is dukha life is full of sorrow second one is samudaya there are causes for the sorrow third one is nirodha there can be stopped it means what they can they can is for sorrow okay they can be stopped and the last one nirodha gamni pratipada that is path leading towards cessation of sorrow how we can remove sorrow so these four noble truths were given by buddha he had also given astangik marga okay that is very important philosophy which is given by buddha astangik mark so there are eight marks are there which are very important Uh, what are these right observation right determination right exercise right action right speech right memory right meditation and right livelihood so these eight are very important why because all these eight makes a stangic mark okay then madhya margam is there which is also described in the philosophy of buddha what is it to avoid the excess of both luxury and austerity so bahut hi zyada दुख और बहुत ही ज़्यादा सुख दोनों के बीच का मार्ग दैट इज़ मध्यम मार्ग एंड थ्री रत्नाज आर देयर व्हाट आर द मेन थ्री रत्नाज दिस इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट फाइव बिकॉज मेनी ऑफ द कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स आस दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चंस व्हाट आर द थ्री मेन और थ्री रत्नाज ऑफ बुद्धिज्म सो दीज आर बुद्धा धर्मा एंड संगा ओके सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बुद्धा धर्मा एंड संगा स्पेशल फीचर्स ऑफ बुद्धिज्म एंड द कॉजेज ऑफ इट्स स्प्रेड सो लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड इट एंड देन आफ्टर विल डिस्कस फर्स्ट काउंसिल सेकेंड काउंसिल्स एंड थर्ड काउंसिल्स फोर काउंसिल्स ऑफ बुद्धिज्म सो फर्स्ट वन पॉइंट एज यू कैन सी ऑन द स्क्रीन Buddhism does not recognize the existence of God and soul, so they denied the existence of God and soul. So they are not ready to accept the existence of God and soul. Existence means astatva. उन्होंने God और soul दोनों के astatva को नकारा है. Women were also admitted to the sangha. They were allowed women. Sangha was open to all, irrespective of caste and sex. Then third one, Pali language was used, which helped in the spread of Buddhist doctrine among the common people. So, which language Buddhism used in Buddhist philosophy? Which language were used? That was Pali language. The great emperor Ashoka embraced Buddhism and spread it to the Central Asia, West Asia, and Sri Lanka. Buddhist councils. So there are four councils you have uh, in Buddhist. So uh, first council, where was it held? That was held in Saptapani, 
caves near a rajgriha in bihar under the pattern of the king ajat shatru during the first council two buddhist work of literature were compiled vinaya and sukta pata by uh, upali so vinaya patka and sukta patka both are uh, compiled by upali that is very important point okay so where it was held the place was rajgriha in which which was in uh, bihar and who's who, who was the pattern king that was ajat shatru and what are the two famous work of buddhism uh, made by upali those are vinaya patika and sutta patika okay so these are very important points let's see where the second third and fourth council were held and who were the main king related to this and uh, where what are the important features okay so let's see the second council third council and fourth council so second council the second council was held in the year of 383 bc at vaishali under the pattern king of kala shoka so that's very important second council kala shoka was the king and where it was held that was vaishali the place okay so the third council was held in the year of 250 bc at patliputra under the pattern king of ashoka the great during the third council abhidhamma pitaka was added and buddhist holy book tripitaka was compiled so what are the three main points very first where it was held that the place was patliputra who was the king that was ashoka the great and what is very important that third council also added buddhist holy book tripitaka was compiled there hai na and abhidhamma pitaka was also there so these four points very important now a fourth council where it was held it was held in kundalwan in kashmir and who was the pattern king that was kanishka and uh, during this council hinayan and mahayan were divided so it's very important fact that in which council hinayan and mahayan came uh, came in existence so that was fourth council where it was held it was held in kundalwan which was located in kashmir okay who was the king there that was kanishka causes of the decline of buddhism that's very important why buddhism very first got its uh, top and then after it declined what are the main uh, causes that we are going to discuss buddhism is comed to the rituals and ceremonies which it had originally denounced so what are the rituals and ceremonies were originally uh, presented in the buddhism philosophy that was not used to follow there second point was there they gave up pali and took sanskrit they began to practice idol worship and received numerous offerings from devotees so this is very important points why because buddhism came to existence to avoid brahmanism the bad practices of brahmanism th those were idol worship and uh, numerous offerings the same thing uh, were happen in the buddhism uh, monasteries also so because of this these uh, buddhism uh, you can say existence may be in danger monasteries came uh, under the domination of east loving people and became the center of corrupt practices so corrupt practices are the very important points whichever every time uh, the main cause of decline of any dynasty okay so that uh, that is also for religion vrajayana from started to develop vajrayana it is also a form of uh, religion that is also developed and buddhist came to to look upon women as objects of lust that is very important point because earlier what are the main features of buddhism those are were now declined so because of this the buddhism religion as a as a philosophy it was declined importance and influence of buddhism now uh, what are the main literature related to buddhism those are were very important we have already discussed but again we are going to discuss some more points are also there first one tripitaka so there are three pitaks are there pitaks means already we have discussed sutta pitaka pitak vinaya pitak and abhidhamma pitak so all these forms three pitaka three pitaka means three pitaks okay so sutta pitaka carries buddha's buddha's sayings whatever buddha said that was uh, compiled in sutta pitaka and then vinaya pitaka which is monastic code which carries monastic code and abhidhamma pitaka religious discourses uh, of um, buddha so what are the religious what are the practices those were 
डिफाइन इन अभिधामा पटका सेकेंड वन इज मिलिंद पाइयो द डायलॉग बिटवीन मिनांडर एंड सेंट नागासेना सेंट नागासेना मीन्स ही यूज टू बिलोंग्स टू बुद्धिज्म दैन दीप वंशा एंड महावंशा द ग्रेट क्रॉनिकल्स ऑफ श्रीलंका सो दीज आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड द फोर्थ वन बुद्ध चरिता बाय अश्वघोषा सो वेन एवर वी टॉक अबाउट बुद्धिज्म ऑल दीज फोर वर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट now let's see about sects of uh, buddhism vraja and i have already told so we are going to discuss this one also uh, in very short very first let's know about hinay hinyan lesser wheel okay so hinyan is also called or you can say a nickname of lesser wheel they believe in the real teachings of gautam buddha of attaining nirvana they do not believe in idol worship and pali language was used in the hinayana text so very important thing that it is uh, carries it carries uh, teachings of gautam, gautam buddha and uh, they do not believe in idol worship and which was the language that was pali language okay then mahayana the greater wheel that is very important why because many of the competitive exams they used to ask what is the difference between hinayana and mahayana okay so what is mahayana they believe that nirvana is attained by the grace of gautam buddha and following bodhi sattvas and not by following his teachings only uh, they believe in idol worship and sanskrit was used in mahayana text so very important fact that hinayana used to, to uh, compile all those teachings and all in pali language and mahayana used to uh, very frequent with sanskrit okay and they used to also allow idol worship in mahayana so these are the main points or you can say features now let's see uh, what is vajrayana they believe that nirvana is attained by the help of magical tricks or black magic and this is why because uh, because of this uh, buddhism also got its decline because vajrayana which is related to black practice that is not important that is not mentioned anywhere in the buddhist philosophy and it added in uh, maybe not known it added in the buddhist philosophy because of this decline of buddhist philosophy or buddhism happened okay so now let's discuss something more about bodhi sattvas okay so here six bodhi sattvas are uh, mentioned very first vajrapani second one is avlok keshvara or padmapani third one is manjushri fourth one is maitreya fifth one is kishiti grihya and sixth one is amitabha or amitayusha okay so these six are bodhisattvas buddhist uh, architectures are very important let's see because stupas are also related with buddhist architecture so let's try to understand what is are the important features of these buddhist architectures places of worship so what is important stupas contain the relics of buddha and bodhisattvas chaityas are the prayer hall while viharas are the place of residence of monks so two uh, features are there chaityas and viharas what is chaityas chaityas are the prayer hall and viharas are used to uh, a residence of monks okay and what uh, the stupa contains it contains the relics relics means you can say the remainings or rakh kehte hain usko किसके बुद्धा और उनके जो बुद्धि सत्वास थे उनके जो रिलिक्स थे वो वहाँ पे कैप रखे गए हैं ओके सेकेंड वन डेवलपमेंट ऑफ केव आर्किटेक्चर लाइक बारबरा केव इन गया डेवलपमेंट ऑफ आइडल वर्शिप एंड स्कल्पचर्स growth of universities of par excellence which attracted the students from all over the world and it became a, not a religion of India but it it also popular uh, in the sri lanka myanmar china tibet and many of other south east south asian countries okay so uh, these are the important features of buddhism what are the important uh, facts or what are the important points related with buddhism and buddhist philosophy i have discussed now let's start to understand jainism jainism is also important because many of times buddhism and jainism uh, people used to confused so it's better to discuss by one by one we have already completed buddhism philosophy now it's turn to jainism understand jainism believes in 24th so let's get started pass with rishabdev being the first one and mahavira contemporary of buddha being the 24th thankas so very important first one is rishabdev 
फर्स्ट थ्री थंकर एज ऋषभ देव एंड द ट्वेंटी फोर्थ वन एज महावीरा द ट्वेंटी थर्ड थ्री थंकर पार्श्वनाथ हुज एम्बलम वॉज स्नेक वॉज द सन ऑफ किंग आश्वसेना ऑफ बनारस द ट्वेंटी फोर्थ एंड द लास्ट थ्री थंकर वॉज वर्धमान महावीर हुज एम्बलम वॉज लॉइन ओके सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट वॉट इज द एम्बलम ऑफ महावीरा That was Loin. He was born in Kunda Gram, district Mujaffarpur, Bihar, in 540 BC. His father Siddhartha was the head of the Jantrika clan. His mother was Trishla, sister of Lichvi Prince Chetak of Vaishali. So very important. Uh, whose ma- mother belongs to Lichvi uh, clan? That is. महावीरा ओके महावीरा वॉज रिलेटेड टू बिम्बसारा मैरिड टू यशोदा हैड अ डॉटर नेम्ड प्रिया दर्शना सॉरी प्रिया दर्शना यस एंड हुज हजबेंड जमाली बिकेम हिज फर्स्ट डिसाइपल सो इट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट दैट हिज दैट हिज डॉटर्स हजबेंड वॉज हिज फर्स्ट डिसाइपल डिसाइपल मीन्स यू कैन से फॉलो अ ओके एट थर्टी आफ्टर द डेथ ऑफ हिज पेरेंट्स ही बिकेम एन एस्केटिक इन द थर्टीन ईयर ऑफ हिज एस्केटिज्म ऑन द टेंथ ऑफ द वैशाखा आउटसाइड द टाउन ऑफ ड्रिभिंक ग्राम ही अटेन द सुप्रीम नॉलेज ऑफ कैवल्या सो वे ही गॉट अटेनमेंट ऑफ कैवल्य दैट इज ड्रिभिक ग्राम ओके सो द नेम इज वेरी टफ फ्रॉम नाउ ऑन ही वॉज कॉल्ड जैना और जितेंद्र जितेंद्र मीन्स वॉट हु गॉट विक्ट्री ऑन हिज सेंसेस दैट इज कॉल्ड जितेंद्र ओके एंड महावीरा एंड हिज फॉलोअर वर नाउ बिकेम पॉपुलर एज जैंस He also got the title of Arihant, worthy. At the age of seventy-two, he attained the death at Pawa near Patna in five twenty-seven BC. Five vows of Jainism that are written here. I am going to explain this one by one. Himsa, that is in Hindi. Okay, in English, non-violence. Satya, do not speak a lie. This means truth. Uh, Asteya, do not steal. Aparigraha. do not acquire any property or brahmacharya that is celibacy so these are main five uh, vows of jainism three main principles ahimsa anekantvad and aparigraha so these three important principle and anekantvad is very important if anybody ask or it is also a question that anekantvad is uh, related with which philosophy that is jainism philosophy okay three ratna of jainism we are going to discuss so let's try to understand three ratna so these three ratnas are right faith right knowledge right conduct in hindi samyak shraddha samyak gyan samyak karma okay so right faith means samyak shraddha right knowledge means samyak gyan and right conduct means samyak karma according to jainism philosophy five types of knowledge are there mati gyan shrut gyan avadhi gyan manah paraya gyan and केवल ज्ञान सो फाइव टाइप्स ऑफ नॉलेज जैन काउंसिल्स एज वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड बुद्धिस्ट काउंसिल्स दीज आर फोर बट जैन काउंसिल्स आर ओनली टू फर्स्ट काउंसिल एट पाटलिपुत्र अंडर द पैटर्न ऑफ चंद्रगुप्त मौर्य इन 300 हंड्रेड बी सी ड्यूरिंग विच द ट्वेल्व अंगास वर कंपाइल्ड एंड द सेकेंड काउंसिल एट वल्लभी इन फाइव हंड्रेड ट्वेल्व ए डी ड्यूरिंग विच द फाइनल कंपाइलेशन ऑफ ट्वेल्व अंगास एंड ट्वेल्व उपांगास वॉज डन लेट सी सेक्ट्स ऑफ जैनिज्म टू सेक्ट्स आर देयर श्वेतांबराज एंड दिगंबराज लाइक इन बुद्धिज्म वी हैव हीनयान एंड महायाना इन द सेम वे श्वेतांबाज एंड दिगंबाज सो श्वेतांबाज मीन्स हु यूज टू व्योर वाइट ड्रेस ओके सो श्वेतांबाज स्थल भद्र स्थूल भद्र वॉज द मेन पर्सन पीपल हु पुट ऑन वाइट रॉप्स रॉप्स मीन्स यू कैन से क्लोथ दोज हु स्टेड बैक इन द नॉर्थ ड्यूरिंग द टाइम्स ऑफ फेमिन एंड दिगंबराज भद्रबाहु रिलेटेड विद दिगंबराज एक्सोडवर्स ऑफ मोंग्स टू डेक्कन एंड साउथ ड्यूरिंग द टाइम्स ऑफ मगदान फेमिन दे हैव अ नेक्ट अटाया सो सो हु आर द सेक्स विच आर यूज टू लिव नेक्ड दोज आर दिगंबराज ओके सो जैन लिटरेचर जैन लिटरेचर यूज 
प्राकृत लैंग्वेज वॉट अबाउट बुद्धिज्म दे यूज टू विच लैंग्वेज दे यूज पाली लैंग्वेज ओके विच इज कॉमन लैंग्वेज ऑफ अ पीपल दैन यूजिंग संस्कृत सो जैन नॉर्मली यूज प्राकृत विच इज अ कॉमन लैंग्वेज इन दैट टाइम ओके इन दिस वे जैनिज्म रीच फार एंड वाइड थ्रो पीपल द इम्पॉर्टेंट लिटरी वर्कस विच आर रिलेटेड विद जैनिज्म दीज आर ट्वेल्व अंगास ट्वेल्व उपांगास टेन परिकर्मास सिक्स छेदक सूत्रास फोर मूला सूत्रास टू सूत्र ग्रंथ ग्रंथास और पार्ट ऑफ संगम लिटरेचर इज ऑल्सो अट्रीब्यूटेड टू जैन स्कॉलर्स सो इन सदर्न इंडिया संगम लिटरेचर वॉज वेरी फेमस सो दस दैट लिटरेचर ऑल्सो कवर्स जैन स्कॉलर्स ओके सो दिस मच इज ऑल अबाउट जैनिज्म I hope it is very clear to all. It is, you can say, a very short compilation of Buddhism and Jainism philosophy. If it is very clear to you and if you understand well, then please like this video, subscribe the channel, and comment in the comment box. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.